everybody. Welcome back to the Lord Croak Painting Fiesta. <laughs> oh, let me adjust this here, get some good light. That's good, alright. So, uh, this is where we're at right now. So you can see, uh, it's come along quite a bit since the first episode. Uh, I've had some people ask what colors I used for the um, the bones, like I did these. And then some people ask about the throne, what color I used for that. So I primed him gray seer. And then I believe the gray that I used was... is either Ulthuan... Ulthuan gray? Uh... I think it was Ulthuan Grey, or it was, where's the other Grey I had? No, I think it was Ulthuan Grey. Uh, yes. No. <laughs> Wait, oh, you know what I think I did? I think I primed him Grey Seer. And then I use Wraithbone? In like a weird... I don't know why. <laughs> I might have did that. I have Grey Seer here for like covering up little bits. Or I primed him Wraithbone and then did Grey Seer. I did something like that. And then I just did the uh, Agarax Earthshade all over the throne to make it... Give it like the brownish color. Uh, and then the actual bone thingies coming out, the tusks or whatever I use. Um, Zandri dust as the base, and then I used Ushabdi bone as the next coat. Uh, I think I told someone it was Screaming Skull. It was not, it was Ushabdi bone, so. <laughs> and then, I just did a really light, oh, uh, See this, the Athonian Camo Shade. I did a really watered down light Athonian Camo Shade on the uh, bone things to give them like kind of a green, darkish look. Hold on. Uh, and then once that dries, I'll probably go over it with like a, like an earth shade or something on like some of the parts I want to pop out more, but I kind of like that for having it, giving it more like a, I don't know, like it's been rotting away in the jungle or something, you know what I mean? So, uh, today we're going to paint some leaves down here because they're starting to bother me. <laughs> so, Lord Croak can move over there. Um, we got a lot of different greens we can use. We got Lorne Forest, Moot Green, uh... Strachan green, Skarsnik green. <laughs> Do I have any other greens laying around? Uh, blue purple green. I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess death corpse drab is kind of like a dead green. I think that's what I was using for the vines. Um. So, let's see, compared to this, yeah, it's a little more pop. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna use these. So, let's... Mm, I don't know what brush I wanna use. Maybe this one. Get a nice little, like, in there type of brush. <laughs> one of the in there brushes, you know? Uh, Alright, so, let's... Let's get a little water. And there, let's spin this around. Alright. I don't know if I want to use Lupercal Green. It's a little too bluey for me. Bluish blue. Wafflesh actually looks okay. I might try Wafflesh here. There's also Dryad Bark. That could have... Mm, nah. Alright, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try the Wafflesh. Little glob. Off. 
let's see how it looks. that it actually looks pretty good yeah <laughs> yeah okay uh, now where does this leaf stop <laughs> it's one of those things where like you kind of see bits of the leaf that keep going and like branches into other leaves so I'm just gonna like play around paint like different leaves here that back here do another one okay maybe one little tiny one right here all right here we are kind of see that coming along I really like painting uh, slam stuff. It's just, uh, I think part of the reasons when I was growing up, back when I was like 8th grade Warhammer, um, one of my favorite things was the slaying. So I feel like painting the current slaying is like a nostalgic type of, kind of like I'm honoring that nostalgic spirit, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Uh, and I'm going to go, let's do the Lauren Forest next. Oh, this is a thick paint. We gotta shake this. There we go. Once you hear that, then you're good. All right. All right. Make sure that's clean. Put that over here. All right. Yeah, closed. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, but I'm wondering, do you guys have any favorite, like, models? Because, I don't know, like, personally, I think my Slan might be my favorite ones, but there's, like, some other ones that I really enjoy. So I'm kind of curious, like, what's your favorite model out of, like, nostalgia reasons? Or, like, what's your favorite model just from well, a little water? You know, painting and playing or whatever it might be. It's also this little dead lizard. And I'm like, eh, what do I want to paint him? Probably something that pops a little bit, but not too much pop, because he's like, you know, he's dead. <laughs> but also alive? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's do a scar snick green next. Very globby. <laughs> All right. I'm putting them all in the same palette so that if I want, I can actually start mixing them together and make some wacky green or something. Uh, let's see, tiny bloop of water. Okay. Uh, a little bit too much. There we go.
Part of it's like... Part of it's still the chair, and I just didn't see it, so I'm gonna have to, like, redo that bit. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to, like, paint that. And that. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> Hold on. That back leaf. Eh. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna mix all three together for this back leaf. See how it turns out. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> all right, there we go. It's a little too much. I gotta like, get some off. Okay, yeah, it works. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna see it that often anyway. It's gonna be sitting on it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna mix these two together and cover this one. Yeah, that's better over here. No, I'm just winging it. <laughs> but I kind of like that. It adds a little more like vibrant, vibrancy to the like little leaves. Otherwise, they can kind of look the same. All right. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. Look at that. I think they look okay. But I gotta, all the white spots are like throne things that should be the normal throne color, so I'm gonna have to paint that quick. Alright, uh, so now we're about to find out, uh, like I was talking about earlier, if the color I did was correct. So I think I did the Ulthuan gray, so we're gonna do that. Actually, you know what? This, mm, now that I'm looking at it, it looks too. I think it's too white. I think I need a darker gray. What did I use? <laughs> it might have just been gray seer. I honestly think I just used gray seer. So I'm gonna try that. Get a little gray seer going. outside. <laughs> Alright, um, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I think it might be. I think it actually is the Grace here. So, I mean, you can honestly just prime the thing grace here <laughs> if you want to try to do what I did. One more. The back part. Here. 
I'm doing such a like intricate job for something that nobody's ever gonna see. Cause he's just gonna be sitting on the thing. <laughs> uh... Okay. All right. I mean, that should be good enough. You know? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's see. Now, I want to kind of paint this little lizard guy. The dead lizard guy right here. I don't know what I want to paint him. Made him maybe I'll make him like a... Uh... I don't want him to like stand out too much, but I do want him to pop a bit. So maybe like a dark blue? What's this? Thunderhawk blue? Eh? This could work. Uh, it's also a Krieg khaki? Khaki Krieg? <laughs> it's kind of like a bright yellowish one. Maybe I'll try the blue and then that one. I don't know. Let's wing it. <laughs> Alright, Thunderhawk blue. A little bit. A little water. Alright. Not even gonna lie, I don't know what's his body and what isn't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna guess. Looks like part of him. Sure. Good to me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I can kind of, kind of see him down there now. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that because a lot of my lizard dudes are blue. So maybe I'll just keep him blue, and maybe I'll make this little frog over here, like a. Uh, Creed khaki. Well, I want to see what this color looks like. Hold on. Alright, let me just knock that off. <laughs> it's closed, so I mean, we're good. Uh, it's like a beige. I can kind of highlight this guy a little bit with it. So yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, and he's got some cool looking like lizard spine thing. It doesn't look that great on the camera, but it looks better in real life. <laughs> Especially when it doesn't focus! Okay. <laughs> Plus, I'm gonna shade him. That'll make him darker, too. Alright. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make the frog, like, a really bright green, just because I think it'll be funny. It's like this really happy, new, lively frog is just chilling in the Lord Croak throne from like a billion years. Let's take some of this. Throw that down. A little water dab. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then... Paint that frog. I'm gonna paint that frog. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You can see him even without the focus. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Please, camera. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, how, there he is. You can see <laughs> I love it. Okay. Alright, so we got him. Um, okay. Let's start shading some stuff again. Like, first, I'm gonna earth shade these branches. Well, you know what? Even the seraphim might work better than the, uh, uh, <laughs> the agar or agarax so it's more of like a brown golden brown and then agarax is like a darker brown eh you know what agarax <laughs> i'd rather have the darker brown I'm gonna leave it open. Woohoo, I sure hope I don't knock it over. Alright. So. Just gonna. Really shade it all in. As I shake. <laughs> You know what? Hold on. Hmm. You know what? Now that I do this, I think I'd rather just full on camo shade shade it. I'm gonna try that. Hold on. I'm gonna try that on like a different one. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like that. I like just just the full-on camo shade. Screw it. I think it looks good. Yeah, and even, this looks, I'm even going to have to do it here. So now it looks a little too, uh, it makes it look too wooden. 
with the other one. I don't want it to look wooden. Right. With the uh, earth shade, I mean. Go up here. Yeah. I like that a lot. Good. Alright, I'm gonna have to soak some of that up. Yeah, I love that. Oh my god. Alright, and then I just gotta get these top ones. That looks really good. It's like the perfect thing I was going for. That kind of old, ancient, tomb, rotten away look. <laughs> or like he's just been chilling here for like a million years in the jungle. Love that. Look at that. That looks so good. <laughs> Woo. I wonder how it would look even on the the leaves? I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna test on the one leaf. It actually even looks good on the leaves. So it's already got a little green to it. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna <laughs> coat these leaves in camo shade. Coat them up. I don't want too much. Good. And then I just gotta go over the other bits with the camo or uh, earth shade. I'll let that dry a bit. Uh, yeah, man. Ethonian camo shade. Very good. I'm gonna do a little more up on top. Top ones, so they're a little light. I want them to look kind of mossy. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Honestly, like, <laughs> I could even kind of randomly like drag the camo shade just everywhere on the throne. Look at this. 
Not like a really light. Like I barely have any on the brush. I'm just kind of going everywhere with it. Just to give it that same look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Rinse this off. Now we get the earth shade. And okay. Start in the back. Careful of the leaves. A little more in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then tiny more right in here. And I mean, yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. Definitely quite the progress from where we started off at the start of this episode. And hmm. you know what? I'm gonna use the camo shade on the frog on the side too. And then since the lizard's blue, I'm gonna use a Drakenoff nightshade, which is like the blue one. But then again, you know what? Maybe he's like even blended in with the throne. So in that case. Even he's going to have a little green to him. Yeah, there we go. I love it. And then frog on the side. Beautiful. Yeah. Neat. Actually, you know what? Now I should probably paint these like things on the bottom too. I still gotta paint the bottom of it. Yeah. I mean, aside from that, it looks pretty good. I like it. Ooh. Mm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know what I want to do about these little like side things. They're all like below the, all the things below all the horn thing. Maybe I'll make them gold at some point. Mm, yeah. And down here. And then I gotta paint like under the throne too, these little like globule things. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> uh, you know what, maybe I'll just gray sear. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Might as well. Blob of gray sear. Just 
Start painting them. Although I think I already kind of did. Uh, or it might just be the primer. <laughs> That's also a possibility. Those cover up spots I accidentally painted on. So, all right, and then I might as well just paint these real quick, the little horns. With my Zandri dust. I used to have all my paints like over there, and now they've just gathered around here. So I'm like, I gotta get them. <laughs> Uh, get some Zandri. Throw that over here. Little water dab. We'll go under here. These just paint quick. him out real quick up here oh yeah yeah that's looking better very nice just chilling up top I still want to add like the uh, gold around the edges I think I'll do that right now too screw it where's my gold <laughs> dark gold retributor armor yeah, it's a base. Alright. Pop that. Get some of it. realize some of the edges are like cracked which is kind of neat so maybe even some of the gold's not even there like it's kind of worn so I'm gonna try to be like a little sloppy with it almost kind of like if I miss a spot it's like ah, eh, whatever But it does, uh, I think it helps everything pop a little bit. Okay. Looking 
good. Keep working the edges. There we go. It's coming along. Yeah, I like it. And I'm going to paint. And I like the. other edges like right here a little more water is uh it's kind of rough when you got the shaky hands but what are you gonna do Like I said, I don't want it to be perfect. So I really like the... Ah, shit, I got some gold on the vine. <laughs> That's not good. Well... some of the inside the side tilted. 
Okay. I do like it though. Definitely helps everything like just kind of pop. God, more on the vine. <laughs> That's fine. A little more on the tip. sides on him, so I guess I could like, yeah, I might as well do the side, all right, I need a little more, <laughs> so. I think that looks pretty good. And then, what the shit? It's like a gold paint thing. <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> I guess it came off the paint. Well, I know it came off the paint. <laughs> okay. It'll be good for now. I can always touch up stuff later too. And I'm gonna earth shade this bottom part. Very 
nice. And then we do the Ushabi bone on the bottom things. Don't need a lot. Well, a little more. All right. Water. Paint these underneath. Crazy. That's good. All right. And I mean, oh, yeah. Now if we take a look, I think that's pretty good. Look at that. From, uh, if you go back and watch like part one, yeah. you like see all the way up to now, I think that's pretty good progress. Oh, oh it keeps almost focusing. <laughs> I do a little twist. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. See, it's like the gold border, I think, helps a lot. It's not like... Oh, and there it goes again. It's not too crazy. But it's like just enough to help uh, make the rest of the throne... And the Lord Croak and the leaves and everything pop out a bit more, so I like that. But uh, I'm pretty happy with them. And then underneath, we got our little things. So you can see down there. Whoop! And you can see all the, uh, the leaves in here now. You got the little lizard guy over there. <laughs> and... 
when I finish it up with a camo shade on the bottom. Give it that, uh, kind of rotten, moldy wood look. Went a little crazy. <laughs> Still good, though. There we go, the underneath. Come on. I only need to get like auto-focusing camera things. <laughs> All right, I mean, you know, it looks like these, the, the other horns, so. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I still, I love the way, oh, now you can kind of see him down there. I love the way the uh, horns and stuff turned out, so. Overall, very happy with my Lord Croak. I'll still probably paint like some little detail, like these little things that are still uncolored, like right here. But, uh, or maybe even like some little things up there. But overall, I'm gonna say uh, his his primary base and everything, and his throne and him are completed. So, thank you for watching this Lord Croak series. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And, uh, I don't know who I'm going to paint next, but I'll find something to paint, and we'll paint that next. Maybe, oh my god, I can paint the, uh, the new, like, temple, maybe. That could be fun. The new Seraphon temple, because I haven't painted that. So, we'll see. Either way, thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell, like button, all that good stuff. And, uh, I will see you next time. Hey, little frog guy. <laughs> Autofocus, please! Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay. See ya!